Okay, hello everyone. My name is Shaz and I am a senior account manager here at House. I actually currently work in the House London office, but started in our House office in San Diego and I've been with House for over five years. And I'm really absolutely excited to really have the opportunity to really talk about our reputation management webinar. Um, what we're going to go over is really the 10 best practices for industry professionals and really what it it means to have a house profile. Um, your house profile is acting as a virtual marketing team. It is working for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and 365 days a year. It's really showing prospective clients your work, providing re uh, references from satisfied clients, and showcasing your expertise so that you can focus on building and designing beautiful homes. So we're going to show you 10 ways to arm this virtual marketing team to build and manage your reputation both on and off. So we, what we've done is we've actually asked successful professionals to share their proven tips and tricks in managing their online reputation and the quality of reviews so you can attract more clients, close more deals, and create credibility with your photos. It goes without saying that House is a visual platform. Your project, your photos really represent your work and your business in a very powerful way. They are how clients judge your ability to deliver on their vision and the quality of your work. So we're going to go ahead and get into what that really means. So on house, photos are often the first impression a prospective client has of your business from a reputation standpoint. Professionally shot photos really speak to the credibility and professionalism of your business, really no matter what type of project or budget level you work with. So make sure that the first impression or the first time that potential clients see your work it's leaving a positive experience and a lasting impression. Having these professionally shot photos is really going to make the homeowners want more. So really there are a lot of photographers out there. So find one that best suits your needs and once you found a great one, really hold on to them and use that same photographer for every one of your projects. What it does is it gives your photos a sense of consistency that potential clients will start to associate with your work. So really, I hope that I've stressed the importance of photography and really how important it is and that you can't afford not to use it. Uh, what's great is House actually offers a photography service with our, pro, our photo package. We partnered up with Miro, a worldwide leader of architecture photography, to offer our users a professional photo service. As a professional, what you can do is you can purchase a voucher for a shooting of 12 professional photos for only 69 pounds. At the moment, Photo Plus is available in Greater London, Liverpool, Manchester, and Dublin. So having really that seal of approval from past clients can help really close a deal, while not having reviews can actually lose you business. So we're going to go ahead and get into some of these tips for this. The strength of your reviews is one of the first things that homeowners look at when determining whether to hire you for a project. They serve as online referrals to give you credibility and to show potential clients what to expect if they hire you. Strong references from past clients can really make the difference between interested customer and lost business. So think about these reviews as really building trust and credibility with your brand. A lot of our professionals say they get their business from word of mouth. Well, this is really that online version of word of mouth business. So strong reviews are very important. You can see here that Avenue Design stated reviews are one of the most important tools for growing my business. I always be sure to ask my clients for a review once a project is over and they're happy with my work because it makes such a big impact on getting new business. And we have another review here. Um, so 
our customers don't have time to read every email they receive, so we come up with personalized notes to catch their eye. There's nothing fancy about it, and it costs us nothing but time. So this one was written um, by Blue Cherry Architects and other savvy pros who have lots of great reviews. Um, they know they need to do something to stand out from the crowd and persuade clients to write a great review. So they say our customers don't have time to read every email they receive, so we come up with personalized notes to catch their eye. There's really nothing fancy about it. So personalize your request. So you can definitely ask a client how they're enjoying a fantastic feature that you've worked on. Maybe there was a very unique item or room or something that you did in their home that's really what they wanted. Asking them how they're enjoying it will really go a long way if you got to know them on a personal level. Ask them how their family's doing, how they're enjoying their new home. Again, something personal. And then during the holiday season, find out how their decorating space is going. Ask them, is there anything I can help you with? There, is, there, is there a service really that you can provide? Again, showing that you're personable will make them more likely to respond. And then when you are personalizing your request, make sure to always include the first name in every email. You want to make sure that you have personalized the greeting with the client's name and a thank you for the for their business and an explanation about how reviews can help attract new clients, and then a link to your house profile where they can leave a review and make everything more efficient. So here's a quote on this. So creating an email template can make the process more efficient. So as Jennifer Howard of JWH Design in Cabinetry says, we keep the bulk of the message the same and then just personalize a few lines here and there to make it special. Again, nothing crazy, but just adding some new touches will make it better for that homeowner. And we also have another quote. So it's common to think about mentioning reviews after the project is completed, but bringing them up from the start and throughout the project can keep reviews on really at the top of mind. Planting these seeds from the beginning will make it easier to gather reviews at the end of the project. So this is a mantra that one of our pros lives by. We try to mention reviews throughout the, pro throughout the entire process, from the first call to the design consultation, even during and after the process. If they're thinking about reviews throughout the process, they'll be more likely to write one after the job because they're more familiar with them. Again, being clear and setting that expectation from the beginning will really help you get more reviews. So one way you can make, you know, really our interviews easier, more efficient is send out requests and batches. This is something that Sneller Custom Homes likes to do, send out in batches. We wait until several projects are finished and then send out a review request to all of our clients at once. Sometimes we have to ask several times because their clients are so busy, as we all are. So I find it easier to follow up with five requests instead of one, one here and there. And requests via house, we're making it easier for clients to submit reviews without needing a house account. I know that this was an issue in the past, so now they don't need one. So request views with reviews, excuse me, with house. With the get reviews, reviews tool on your profile, we simply add the client's email address and then write a personalized note and then house will send the client directions to fill out their review. Once they have filled it out, it's coming back to our team and it's approved. It will show up on your profile. Again, another way to make it and reviews more simple and hows really would be better for your business. So to increase the number and scope of reviews, you can reach out to your professional network as well. We often recommend that professionals reach out to other colleagues that they've collaborated with on projects to write reviews for each other. It lets them know that not only do homeowners like working with them, but also other people in the industry like working with them as well.
on house members of the professional our professional community can fill out reviews as colleagues these reviews from your industry peers will provide a different angle of your business which will impress not only potential clients but also other professionals who may be looking to include you um, on a job and really share that project with you I tried to get reviews from our contractors and subcontractors because that helps build credibility. As soon as a project wraps up, we tell them we can share photos with them so that they can use our photos on their profile, but we ask them to review us first. It's a win-win. So really, this is just another way that you can get that. I don't know if you've ever you know, worked or collaborated with another professional on house, but let them know that you will write a review for them and ask them to do the same for you. They will receive an email when you complete the review so that they will be reminded to do the favor back. So thanking clients for thanking you. Responding to reviews shows that you truly value customer service because potential clients will see that you invest your time into communicating with our clients. HALS allows you to respond to your reviews with a thank you message and a like. So after a review is posted to HALS, be sure to thank the client that reviewed you and add your own comment to the review. This is a perfect opportunity to demonstrate to prospective clients that great relationships that you build with each client and the way that you engage on a project, it's an additional touch point to show your personality, expertise, or attention to detail. But to actual clients that are reading these details and professionals in the house community tell us that these small gestures can help close new business. LTB Designs con uh, Conquer says, it's important to acknowledge people who took the time to write a review. That's just part of being courteous. When I read the review, it helps me maintain motivation and continue work. I'd like to acknowledge that and just say thanks. So we get questions a lot on how do we address negative reviews. Now, negative reviews are just as important to acknowledge and can actually be a positive marketing opportunity. So offering your side of the story or perhaps how you might improve the situation will allow potential clients to see how you handle those situations that you know, really aren't ideal. So you want to address negative reviews head on and not shy away. Sometimes you don't you know, maybe see eye to eye with a client when this happens, it's okay, reply to the review with your side of the story, but do it with grace and professionalism. This can completely take the power from a bad review. It's a way to give insight into the way your company operates. People are interested in you, we'll seek that out. We'll seek that out. Serious clients will take the time to read both sides of the story and showing that you really adapt at handling any situation um, and it will really resonate with savvy homeowners. Having a complete profile builds your credibility on house among other significant benefits. So let's dive a little bit into those. You want to make sure that you're writing a personalized business description that helps prospective clients understand how you differ from your competitors. You want to make sure that they know how it is that you're different. And maybe it's by the way that you work with clients or that you have a family-oriented business or the type of work you do, the materials you're working with, all your focus on green building practices, et cetera. It's really all these details that make you more credible. People are very specific about their needs and having all of these needs addressed, even in the smallest detail, will go ahead and leave a lasting impression for any house homeowner. So another tip is that we highly recommend that you use a photo of yourself and not a logo. When you look at these two examples, which are you more drawn to? It's pretty obvious, right? People want to connect with people. They want that personalized connection. They wanted, you know, 
to picture who they're going to be calling on the phone and put a face to the name. And maybe you have a group of people on your team. Maybe it is a team effort at your job. Well, that's definitely okay. Grab just a friendly photo of the group at work and upload it to your profile. Use discussions to fill in the gaps. So now we're going to go into how you can continue to operate outside of reviews. So maybe you have an area of expertise that's not touched on by your client reviews where you can really showcase it and build your reputation by participating in house discussions. Every discussion you participate in, it becomes part of your house profile. So arming that marketing powerhouse with even more compelling content to share the prospective clients, you can start by visualizing the advice area on house and you can search for a conversation that interests you. So maybe there's a color consultation or curb appeal or historic restorations, uh, uh, renovation, sorry, patios, plants, or kitchens, whatever it may be. Answer any question in a way that shows off your personality and expertise. Answering three questions a month is a sufficient level of activity. More participation is always encouraged and can only benefit your reputation, but don't worry if the person asking the question is that is not in your area or working to do a project themselves. The house audience is diverse and global. The idea is to answer each question for the tens, hundreds, or thousands of people who may be visiting your profile and are using those discussions as a way to gauge really how you, to really gauge how they could potentially work with you. And I think that's really important. So just to so just a recap of the 10 best practices for reputation management building content, managing reviews, and promoting your brand through these 10 guidelines will help strengthen your reputation and give prospective customers greater confidence in your business. Let's go ahead and go through them briefly. You want to create credibility with professional photos. If you don't have professional photos, we want to encourage you to check out the House Network and find someone who could be the best assistance to you. Another thing is understand again the, the power of reviews. Make sure you bring that up from the get-go and make sure you're speaking about it throughout the entire process. Having a review on top of your client's mind will make them more likely to give one. Personalize your request, make sure you put a name and make sure that there's a story there. And if there's something you remember, go ahead and let them know. Again, make reviews part of the process, keeping them informed. Request multiple reviews at once to make it easier for you. You can send them in a batch and then you can follow up with the five individuals as opposed to one by one. You can also tap into your professional network. Is there a subcontractor you've worked with, ask for a review and you'll reciprocate. Also thinking your clients for uh, thinking of you and writing a review or simply responding to one is another way to help build your brand and keep those relationships with past clients and open new ones with potential ones. And again, respond to negative reviews. This is a, a really good way to showcase how your business operates and just having your side of the story again in a professional manner for the community. Complete and differentiate your profile. Make sure your profile has a face, Again, people respond to people, they want to know who they could potentially be working with. So we highly recommend using a photo of yourself as opposed to a company logo. And make sure you put everything that you offer on your profile. And finally, use discussions to fill the gaps. Make sure you're active within the community so that people can see the broad range of knowledge you have and what other services might be able to offer that you really haven't described before. So now we come on to, I think, a really interesting bit, but we're going to discuss our Pro Plus partnership program. Um, I've actually been one of the senior account managers here on Pro Plus, as I mentioned earlier, for over five years. And I can't tell you what, what a rewarding experience it has been for me because I've truly seen this partnership program change professionals' lives and their businesses for the better. So I'd like to take this opportunity to really discuss how 
Pals Pro Plus can really help grow your business and really get you seen thousands of times a month in front of affluent homeowners for larger projects that you can be selective with for years to come. So right here, what many of you don't know is that um, Hals actually currently has over 2 million monthly homeowners who are coming onto Hals every month and spending time in our photo stream. They look through over 19 million images browsing and saving photos they like. The reason why that's so important is because in this day and age, many consumers really don't know what they want until they see it. So this photo stream is really important because it gives homeowners an idea to see you know, what they wanna do with their kitchen. Are they looking for contemporary, modern, traditional? Um, you know, what are, maybe they're looking for something that's architecturally unique. So the photo stream on house is really key to really give them an insight and to help them plan their project. Um, so we really want to capture attention, especially in the photo stream, and make them interested in you so that when they are ready to move forward with their project, they're already well familiar with your business. So the next ad unit you will be featured in is a sponsored photo, and this is where you'll stand out among some of our top professionals on house. Just like the banner ad, your business will be showcased to homeowners who are sitting in locations that you want to get more business in. You're really letting these homeowners know that you're local to them. So we create a customized headline for your business. With the headline, we recommend highlighting the metro area that you service, so the location that you're in, what type of service that you offer, and something that makes you unique. Right below that, we would write an ad copy that highlights what sets your business apart and why a client would want to work with you. We'll be rotating your best project images throughout the photo stream thousands of times a month in this format so potential clients can really see your work, save your images, and reach out to you, um, especially when it's time for them to start their project. Um, we've been told by professionals that they've been hired for projects and never really had to sell themselves because the homeowner felt as though they already knew them well enough from seeing their work so frequently in the photo stream. You will also be featured more prominently in our professional directory. As an advertiser, you will receive enhanced placement in the categories and locations of your choice. Many of our professionals tell us that their businesses are multifaceted, so they can find the ability to be featured in multiple categories that are beneficial for their business, so they can really highlight all of their services. Within the directory, we've launched a tool called Project Match. Project Match really makes it easy for the homeowner to be specific about their project needs by filling out a questionnaire. Once they provide the scope of work, we connect that homeowner to professionals who can provide the services needed. Project Match has been successful in driving leads and traffic to professionals on our Pro Plus program. In short, we want to help you be profitable in the jobs you take on, and the efficiency of this tool allows you to do so by bringing qualified users directly to you. We only send these leads out to Pro Plus members. With the ad placements that I have shared with you, as well as additional ads throughout the site and our newsletter, our goal is to drive traffic to, ultimately, your house profile. Once their homeowners will be able to read your reviews, learn about your business, and most importantly, contact you for a project. Additionally, to help you easily track your results, House offers a call tracking feature that is exclusive to Pro Plus customers and enables you to track calls that you have had with potential clients. You can choose to opt in or out of this feature, but we have seen great success for the professionals who are currently taking advantage of this call tracking feature. I've worked with professionals myself who told me that they like being able to listen to the types of calls that their sales teams and their office staff are having with potential clients. It also helps them with training as well too. So I think this tool has a lot of um, really great benefits that has proven throughout the years that I've worked with House. So, Basically, whenever someone calls by dialing your number on house, um, this is ultimately how call tracking will work. 
we will track everything in the central messaging system. If you miss the call, you'll immediately get an email letting you know a prospect is trying to reach you. That way you can follow up as soon as possible. You can also come to your dashboard at any time to see calls or messages that you've received. With any advertising that you do for your business, whether it be on house or elsewhere, it is so important to track how it's working and make adjustments accordingly. So another great feature with Pro Plus is we make sure to provide you with detailed metrics to track the success of your program. Your Pro Plus dashboard is really where all your information on how your program is doing is going to be housed. It's something that you can check 24 seven um, and it's really a live feed. So you can see how your ads are performing and even more specifically, which photos are drawing in the most views. For example, if you have a photo that is getting 10 times as many clicks as the rest of your photos, then we should learn from that and make sure that we showcase that photo more frequently in the other ads that we're showcasing for your business. Lastly, to make sure that advertising on house is a simple and smooth process for your business, you'll receive a dedicated client success account manager. Um, in my experience on house, they are the sole reason why our renewal rate is so high and why our um, professionals do so well on the program. Um, they're here to conduct analytic calls with you, you know, every four to really six weeks to go over your account details, let you know how your program's working, what's working really well, and maybe where they see room for improvement. They're also here to really take the busy work of managing a program like this off your plate. You know, I would say that 80, you know, over 80% of the professionals we partner with on house are one man, one woman shows. And it's really difficult for them to spend time uploading photos keywording their photos, and really staying on, on top of their marketing program. So the account manager here is dedicated to take a lot of that busy work off your plate so that you can let us focus on what we do best, which is really advertising your business as one, as our, one of our preferred clients to get you the projects that you want so that you can focus on what you do best, which are creating these amazing spaces for your clients. We really appreciate the time you all took with us today, and we want to encourage you to ask any questions and really offer your feedback. Um, I hope you were able to take something away from our reputation management course. If you do have any questions, we want to encourage you to reach out and um, ask those questions. And again, thank you so much again for attending the webinar today. I sincerely appreciate the time you took with me to today and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much.